Hi hey everybody, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2. On this episode, we're going to continue exploring Wolfram Hall and try to figure out a way to kill off the rest of these vampires. So what I want to do is I'm going to just push that out of the way and push this block up here before we do anything else. Just push it up, grab it from here. This is going to be very important, and as you'll see momentarily. So just push this to here then. Then what I want to do is I want to push this one to here. Climb up here. Well, not climb, obviously, it's take the elevator. Smash this open. Get the light in. Now I'm just gonna just jump across. Um, and push this coffin. As soon as you push this coffin, uh, it'll break and the vampire will be released. So, um, you're best off just to just, uh, um, try and take him on one at a time. Don't push him on both coffins simultaneously. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lure him up here. Hey, look at me, vampire! Woo! Look at that! So as soon as... Yeah, basically, as soon as he follows you like this, you want to just get one from here, push this to block him, and then we can't get back down. Then you want to just push this crate like this, and push him straight into the elevator. And watch him as he goes into his doom. Oh yeah, as soon as he gets set on fire, he'll jump down. I forgot about that. <laughs> so then we just want to repeat the process with vampire number two. So I want to just push this up here again, and then we just repeat the process to destroy the second vampire. And then we we'll finish with room number four. So I just want to do here. We'll get the shadows after this. Don't worry, I'm not forgetting. And the vampire is quite tired, folks. And I fell, I fell there. Hey, vampire, look at me. It's Sir Dan. He's kind of getting stuck in the graphics. Excellent, we got him. So you want to do the same thing. Block him off. And then push him to his death. Bye bye, vampire. Let's see if we can get a better look at this time. Oh, yeah. Die. So, that's this room clear, room number four, I believe. So, now before anything else, we're going to go and collect the chalice. As soon as the camera fixes itself. So, we just want to go back to the main hall to collect the chalice. Stupid evil girls. Just jump back out here. Jump up here. And we get the Chalice of Souls. Now we're going to go into the final room in Wolfram Hall with the last of these accursed vampires. I kind of like this level, you know, it's nice to have the puzzles mixed in. Is this the right room? Yeah, I'm in the right room. Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to go up, as far as I remember. In this room is actually um, a fountain of rejuvenation, so may as well use it to top up our health. You'll need it for the next level, so try and make sure you have as much health as you can for the next level. Go in here, run around. Yeah, and then as soon as you run around enough, smash open this. Now what we want to do is we want to um, go back down. And I'll just kind of show you what to do first, I think would be better. The main thing we're going to try and do in this area is there's a switch here. And we want to just hit it a couple of times. And what that'll do is that'll shine, um, basically get the, this room full of light, which as you know is a vampire's weakness. So obviously we want to lure the vampires into this room. And then, um, and then what we want to do is... Um, uh, use the light to destroy them. Now this room isn't as easy as it looks. What you have to do is you basically have to um, push the coffins in a certain way. Some of the floor tiles have um, alarms that wake up all the vampires. And if that happens, what you want to do is you want to just jump up onto one of these um, platforms and wait for them to go back to sleep. And don't ring the bell. Same rules apply. Don't ring the bell. I can't remember the exact ones which ones are, so I'm going to probably screw up once or twice, but I don't know what's... 
That's the point of learning, right? We'll just guess it. Ah. I got one down handy enough. Then you want to just jump down here. And just keep hitting the switch. These guys pack quite a bunch. And then once you get three hits on the switch, watch them burn. One down, two to go. So, um, same rules again. I'm gonna go like this, to this. Oh crap. I was about to fail sooner or later. Then, as soon as you're safe up on this platform, you're not just, um, you can just look out and wait for them to go back to sleep. Lazy vampires. They'll eventually just get tired and go straight back into their coffins. Go back into your coffin, prick. So, okay, maybe you have to go a bit further away if they see you. And as soon as you go back into his coffin, all is well in the world again. Oh, push the coffin then. Oh crap! <laughs> I didn't think that floor was actually um that's how it specifically was gonna wake him up. But as you can see, it's just a case of trial and error really. There's um sites in the internet that tell you the exact um ones that will ding and which ones won't. So if you're that desperate to find out, you can look it up. However, I don't see really see the need to be that you know precise and it doesn't really matter if you um fail once or twice just because you know there's a fountain of reju rejuvenation in the room right next to this one so um you know in that regard you're pretty much okay just as i said just trial and error you'll eventually get it right now go back into your coffin i'm gonna just keep doing this it'll be fun we'll go straight up through the middle <laughs> what a trivial chore. There we go. Oh, I should probably mention actually. If you um, don't hit the switch three times within um, a certain time period, um, the lantern at the top, the chandelier, sorry, the chandelier will collapse and you'll have to start all over again. So. Hooray for that! So what we want to do now is we want to just sprint up here. We're basically finishing this level now. It's, that's the end of the level. That's the exit up there after being revealed. So just make sure you pop into this room. Use this fountain of rejuvenation. Make sure you have as much health as you possibly can. The next area can be quite tough. So now let's enter. Well, uh, enter the next level. The Count. Hey look, it's Casper. Alright then, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Savings are pussies, Casper. Whatever's through this door is a lot worse than the stuff you've already encountered. Use your wits, not just your weapons. Reflect on what I've said. Okay, Casper, we'll try and reflect on what you said. I will have many more. There's a spiv there if you want to use a spiv to top up your weapons or anything, but I'm good the way I am, thanks. So, next time we will battle the Count, apparently, and we will reflect on what Winston said. That's the end of this episode of Let's Play Medieval 2. This is Rexus, signing out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.